Welcome to Sodia Keys. In today's video, I'd like to share the three limitations of the SP404 OG that I actually really like. I'll do a video about limits and how they may be valuable in our creative work. I truly believe that limits can be what makes art come alive, not just a nuisance or, as I'm guilty of, an excuse not to create. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite limitations are. The first limitation of the SP404 that I actually really like is that you cannot see a waveform. When you record audio into a pad, there's no way to capture or edit the waves form perfectly. Most of their samplers have this function as it's actually a very important feature in order to get a perfect loop. However, with the SP404 OG, you have to rely on your intuition and your ears. Visual tools can be so helpful in knowing what our music is doing. Convenience is not always beneficial and strengthening our ability to hear and understand musical phrases is lost when we rely too heavily on visuals. The second limitation of the SP404 OG that I actually really like is this one gigabyte compact flashcard. One gigabyte seems like a blip of information doubly so compared to the newer versions of the SP404, such as the SP404SX and A, which can handle 32 gigabytes SD card, or the MK2, which boasts to be able to handle a whopping one terabyte SD card. So, do I actually like this feature? Yes, and here's why. One gigabyte of storage is just enough space for one full album and having limitless space can often hinder our ability to create. For example, if I have one terabyte to create something, I can go all out, but will I actually create something meaningful and will I actually complete it? Limitations reminds me that the only person or the only thing that is stopping me from creating something meaningful is myself. The third limitation I really like about the SP404 OG is it only has 12 pads. This is less than MPCs have or even the SP404 MK2 which have 16 pads. And 16 pads seems to be the standard in this industry. I like this limitation because it keeps things simple. It's easy to look at. Compared to the newer models of the SP404, there's also way less going on visually under the pads. Again, making it simpler to look at and contributing to creating without visual distraction. Having 12 pads also means limited space or places to put audio. I have 12 pads and I have 10 banks, which means I only have 120 places to put audio. This helps me narrow what I need to focus on. So I'm not adding multiple sounds that I don't actually need or won't actually use. So those are the three limitations I really like about the SP404 OG. We had no waveform, so you cannot view waveform on this sampler. And we had this one gigabyte of storage of the compact flash. And also on the SP404, there are only 12 pads and 10 banks, which means 120 places to put audio. What did you think? Do you like these limitations on the SP404 OG? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked today's video, it would help the channel out a lot if you liked, commented, and subscribed to the channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you so much for watching.